I'm not saying that. Cool team, all right, let's get into it. So, Pato here taking you through Wednesday's class, 25th, I think. I don't know, every day is blending into each other. What we've got for the warm up is a four minute AMRAP, just working at a warm up pace. So, looking and focusing on the actual movement rather than trying to move fast, uh, through these as fast as you can. Four movements, 10 reps of each. First one, commandos. We're going from a tall plank down to a short plank. We're just going to keep moving for 10 reps. So, starting here, down to the elbows, up tall. That's one. Change the arm that you're going up on. The idea is to stay nice and tight within our core. Warm up our midline a little bit and also kind of the press. Second movement, shoulder taps. This one is focusing on our shoulders. We do have some pressing today. So I want you guys to take this nice and slow, two to three seconds per rep. Go be in that tall plank position you were with the commando. However, you're gonna to touch your shoulder, switch sides, trying to keep the hips from rotating. So we don't wanna see any of this. Nice and straight. Feet go wide will make it a little bit easier. Two to three second reps. Two to three seconds per rep for those 10 reps. Third movement, slow mountain climbers. So, we can take our time with this, warm up the, uh, the hip flexors and the groin a little bit. Tall plank position, foot right up to the hand, and then switch. Let's go 10 each side for that. So those will be quite quick. And the last one we have is a sumo squat, warm up the groin and the squat a little bit, so feet wide or wider than you're used to. Keep the knees, for, uh, keep the knees pressing out, hips back and down, chest stays up high. Four movements, 10 reps, four minutes of work. Strength piece. Five sets of five reps, okay? Whether that be five reps of actual movement or five each side. Five sets of five reps, then you're gonna complete something outside of this. If you have a barbell, you're gonna be going through a jerk balance. So, gonna be in that split jerk position. So find that split jerk position, take about a foot, a half a foot uh, step back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press and move that foot into that split jerk position. Hold, stand up tall, that's one. Okay, moving through like so. Okay, so we're really focusing on that catch position in our jerk. Shouldn't be a heavy weight, we shouldn't struggle with that press. Focus is that catch, in the bottom of your split jerk, all right? So keep it up at like a light to moderate weight that's gonna make you, uh, force you to balance in that position, but not struggle with the press. We have only have a dumbbell or kettlebell, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna be a split jerk stance. It's gonna be a one arm press, so. We'll be here, pressing on the head through, oh, so, so pressing through on the head, like so for five reps, and then we can switch sides for this one. Okay, like so, or alternatively, we can do a half kneeling press, we get on the ground, okay, a bit of midline work included with this press, both movements, five each side for that. If we don't have any weight, that's fine, the body weight movement is lunge jump, we're looking for max height today, okay, max height. So you'll be in this lunge position here, Jump up high as you can, and then catch and drop down. Okay, trying to get as high as you can. Obviously, mine are pathetic. Hopefully, we get a little bit higher than that. Five each side. Once we've done that, whatever movement you're doing, you've got five kneeling broad jumps, or just five broad jumps. Okay, so a kneeling broad jump. Trying to jump as far as you can forward. Okay, again, I'm not very explosive. So hopefully, you guys are a little bit more smoke explosive than I am. If you're not too comfortable with that, it can be quite tough. Just a normal broad jump. Okay, we're looking for explosive movement for that second part. Alternatively, I'm so out of breath. Alternatively, we can also do box jumps for that if you want to. Okay, if you're lucky enough to have a box or somewhere to jump high. Looking for a very explosive movement outside of those split jerk movements that we've got there. Five sets, five reps of the list. Conditioning. Oh, give me a minute. So I'm so out of breath. I've got a slight cold as well, so that doesn't really help. It's won't age well if we get cold. All right, four time, 11 minute cap, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Two minutes to get through. So with the barbell, we've got a hang squat snatch. So if you're looking at bar up, hinging forward, catching in that squat. Okay, for 10 reps, then you're either going through an overhead lunge, you can keep in this position here, step forward, that's one, go for 10, or a front rack lunge. Okay, so hang squat snatches and lunges. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. If we've got a dumbbell, we have one arm snatches. If, we're lucky, if we can do a squat snatch, cool. Go for 10 of those or just normal snatches. Okay, be 10 total on each side. And then you've either got an overhead lunge or a front rack lunge. Those are your two movements. Then, the guys who don't have any weight, you've either got a deck squat or a box jump. So, 
deep squat beam, down to a squat, roll back, that's one, 10 of those, or a box jump, if you're lucky enough to have that, and then you've got lunges, okay, so step forward, one, et cetera, moving through like so. So, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 of those two movements, whatever you're doing, after every round, you've got either 50 double unders, 100 skips, or 50 hops, so a hop would be one, two, etc. 50 dubs, 100 skips, 50 hops, plus a 100 meter run. So the way that works is 10, 10, skip run, 8, 8, skip run, all the way down to 2, 2, skip run. Boom, one take, how you going?